Let it all go, let it all go No submission, this is too far all Greatness or death, this is how we roll Before I'm late to rest, I'll conquer the globe Come on, come on Hello? Hello? Oh, 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 she hung up. She acting funny. Ooh, it's gonna be good right here, y'all. I ain't going to that shit. No, 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 no Hey, 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 hey. Hello? 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 Uh -huh. Hello? She getting her back blown out. What are you what doing? Are you doing? Yo, yo, I, no, I ain't, no, I'm not tripping, though. I just heard you moaning, yo. Did you hear that? Hello? The car kind of loud. When she said nothing, it was like a... Uh, nothing. Oh, somebody up in his girl. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Yo, I, yo. I, no, I ain't, no, I'm not tripping, though. I just heard you moaning. Nothing. She acting so strange. Yo, somebody's there, though. I'm about to pull up, bro. Real talk. Ooh. What you, what you, what you, what, what? She giggling. Hello? Hello? Huh? She, you, do y'all hear the distraction in her voice? Huh? Oh, somebody, somebody. So as he on the phone with this girl, she's getting smashed, and she can't even concentrate and talking to her. She doesn't have enough decency to tell the dude that's behind her, clapping them cheeks to be like, hey, wait, 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 my boyfriend on the phone. Before she picked her, he said, wait, 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 so we don't mess this up. Let me answer this phone. Hey, baby, blah, blah, blah. And then once you hang up with your main nigga, then you let your side nigga continue to clap. But she letting them clap while she's talking to her main dude. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, what'd you say, babe? <laughs> Oh, this is so foul on so many levels. It sounds like you're doing, doing something, doing something though. though. What the what fuck, the yo? Hey, I'm hey, on the way there now, dog. I swear to God, God, there's somebody, somebody in my, house, house, bro. Bro. It's somebody it's in my house, bro. It's somebody in my house, bro. Oh, it's his house. It's nah, bro. bro. I hear, I hear, I hear you doing shit. shit. She got a nigga in his house. Hello? Hello? I'm not doing nothing. Woo! No, 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 I'm no, on the way, no, way, yo. Real no, talk, no, talk no. Fuck that. Yo, yo, yo. Michael here. 250 Gemstones Exchange. This is where I give you guys great content. And in exchange, you guys leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Hopefully, all three of the above. And don't be afraid to share my videos. Pass me around. Pass me around. Facebook, Instagram, other social media platforms. And y'all know how I feel about my chain. I want to hear it. Like to support the channel. Dollar sign Michael US Cash App Dollar sign Michael US Check out the website 250gemstones.com.co Got some great merch for y'all And I'm sick of y'all sneaking on my channel I got all this good content Approaching 800 videos And y'all not watching the whole thing But it's okay I know y'all busy But I need y'all to come, come sit down I already caught you You already been caught I was peeking through the bushes I seen you Come on here sit down Right beside me Cause we need to talk Fellas, 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 what y'all, what would y'all have done in this situation? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Why do girls, first off, guys, I want to ask you something. Why do girls feel that it's absolutely okay to bring another man in the house? Listen, when you bring a man to the house, that means my finances, that means... This man has access to my house. First off, he knows where I stay so he can get at me. Especially if he's an enemy. He can get at me. Two, my money's at my house. My, my other credit card, all my personal, my livelihood, my place of peace, my finances, where I uh, uh, lay my head, where I organize my life. 
you bring this man into my home. Any woman that does that, bring a nigga to my house, you got to go. I don't know. And women, if you're watching, can y'all please explain to me why do y'all think that is so acceptable, cool, to bring another grown man to your main nigga's house, to your husband's house, to your fiance's house, to your boyfriend's house. A man's home is, is his sanctuary. My business, my personal business, my business business, all that starts at home. And you bring this man in here. Not only you brought him in here, he blowing your back out. In my bed, this man's in my bed, putting his, marking his territory, my woman. Marking his territory in my home, the disrespect. The dude cried on it, and I think this was a real video, because I think he really liked the girl. See, the, see, I used to be like him. So that's why I'll never make fun of a man who really loves a girl because I, I used to be I used to think like that long long time ago before I became a king I used to think like that I didn't know any better I never make fun of a man who gets his heart broken because oh yes King Michael has been there plenty of times plenty 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 of times once again I'll never make fun of a man who really loves a girl and he gets embarrassed he gets cheated on his world crumble I would never kick a man down because there's a lot of uh, sorry YouTube I gotta cuss Cause all the, these This this uh, episode's for the men There's a lot of Bitch ass niggas out here That will kick Their own brother down Even probably Their own blood brother Their own black brother Latino brother Their white brother Their Asian brother They will kick Their fellow man down For whatever the reason is To see this man in pain like that in their sick twisted mind that's a come up because they world so fucked up and shitty to see you fucked up and shitty brings joy to that person i ain't that type of nigga because i know how it feels when you really like somebody and i know and i know why they do like that girl because one she's probably sexy as hell two she's nasty and, well it was obvious she's nasty in that bedroom she's pretty and she's nasty but on a deeper level he had an spiritual and emotional bond with this thought ass little girl. He had an emotional and spiritual bond with this thought ass girl. When you bond with somebody and you really like them, see, that bond started from, let me back up, that bond came from the time that they spent together, they eat together, they hang out together. This girl is on his hip and he is on her hip. See, men and women are like rocks. You ever put two rocks together? If you keep hitting them, they're always around each other. If you always uh, putting a rock next to another rock, you're chipping at each other. Chip, chip. You hit it hard enough, hit it hard enough, it's going to spark a flame. And that flame jumps into the wood. And that's how you start a fire. So it's that fire. It's these two rocks, male and female, constantly hitting each other, always around each other, rubbing. It gets hot. And that heat was the bond. He thinks about her. He thinks about having a family with her. He thinks in the, he thinking about, you know, growing old with this woman. When you have a bond with somebody, and a lot of niggas be faggots. Let me tell you men some. You niggas need to stop with that bullshit. I don't love the bra. Trying to stunt in front of your boys. Trying to stunt. Trying to front. Knowing damn well you crave her attention. You crave to hear her voice. You crave uh, to kiss her. You crave just to see how she's doing. Even though she's trifling as hell. It was the bond. It was the fire. I'm, I'm talking about outside of sex. She's your best friend. That's when niggas lose their mind. And I, now, now, I don't know what happened. He said, you know, she was disrespectful. She had this other nigga blowing her back and her mouth out at his house. But the thing is, that was his best friend. He just saw that his best friend in the entire world that he trusts like I said, they eat together, they hang out together, they share their deepest, darkest secrets together. Uh, they have history together. They plan in a future together. This is his best friend. This beautiful, nasty girl <laughs> is his best friend. So he don't look at her as a thought or just a piece of meat. See that dude that, that's slamming her back, that's slamming her box. He's just looking at her as a piece of meat. He just want to tear her apart. Okay. He don't want nothing to do with her. She just look good and he wants to give her the business. What they got going on is purely sex. 
but see what he, how he feels about it. I don't know how if she feels the same way about him, but how he feels about her. He looks up to this girl like somebody he can trust. Like I said, this is his best friend doing this to him. So she's more than a girlfriend. She's more than just some broad. Uh, he's blowing her mouth out on a daily basis. She's more than that to him. That guy that's blowing her back out, that's all she is to him. Just a sexual object. But to that guy in the car that was checking on her and she would kept moaning. Uh, what? Oh, the disrespect in this dating scene. The disrespect in this dating scene. I don't know how people deal with it. I am big on respect. I don't know how you, you're not even trying to, you know, it was just better if you just didn't answer the damn phone. So what? So his heart was broken because he saw the true face of his best friend, the true face of his lover, this beautiful girl, you know, his soulmate. What, his heart was broken because he just realized all of that was just an illusion. So when you bond with somebody, you overlook their flaws, you overlook the red flags, you overlook all the bullshit, you know, and sometimes most people don't even overlook it. You really don't even see it because you just crave this person. So I don't, I don't make fun of no man. I don't make fun of no woman who, you know, you know, whose heart broken. That is not I don't think the shit's funny. I don't think the shit is a uh, something to take advantage of. I don't think it's something to where you can use as an advantage on the person. Like I said in the beginning, but, you know, his whole world just crashed because the truth about his best friend was just revealed. So, you know, I don't have those emotions anymore. But, you know, for those guys going through it, just get through it. It's going to make you stronger. Don't do nothing crazy. You know, it is one of them situations where it's easier said than done. But fellas and ladies, what would you have done in this situation? You call your significant other and you can hear them getting their back blown out. That couldn't have been me. I, 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 I pulls up. Me. I, Fred, what you gonna do? I'm getting the chopper, man. <laughs> Fred, chill. <laughs> Fred said he getting the chopper. <laughs> it ain't that serious, y'all. It can't be me, man. You in my house? Anyone else? Oh yeah, somebody got somebody got to leave out my house limping.